Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial of Xamarin Farms. Um, so today we'll see how to make chat apps um, using a signal uh, framework hosted on ISP.NET Core uh, application. So signal R is a framework developed by Microsoft. You can see the official documentation on Microsoft site web. So let's begin um, here by creating a new ASP.NET Core uh, application. And first of all, we need to install Microsoft signal R uh, NuGet package. After that, we need to add a new um, folder called apps in which we define new class called chat apps so our project can contain uh, many apps here so in this apps we need to um, use the parent class app from signal earth framework and let's define a new method called send messages send message let's take the user id and the message uh, parameter here nice that's all for the configuration here. So let's move to the setup and add the services dot add signal error and let's map that uh, in uh, the routes. That's great. We have done here with uh, the server side. Let's move to the client side and create a new application, uh, Xamarin Forms Prism template. Let's select the Android project only. Eventually, you can use um, iOS um, application if you have a MacBook. So let's install the Signal Air um, client core NuGet package. And eventually, we need to create a service folder and in which we define the interface and the service for chatting. So let's create iChat service interface and chat service um, class let's make it public same thing for the interface great so now let's begin by creating private read only property type of help connection and let's call help connection and in the constructor here we need to define this help connection it's equal to app connection builder dot with url so i think we have installed the wrong package here so we need to install signal error um, dot client only not dot client dot core that's great and here we have with url uh, method dot build so the url will be your server um, ASP.NET Core uh, web application. So here in this service, we'll define uh, essentially four methods. So we have one for connect to the hub. The second one is for disconnect when the user left the chat room. And the other one will be the send message that will take the user ID or the username and the message and we need to invoke um, the method on the server it will be the same name that we have defined already in the server it will be send message and the receive message here will be the name of um, the event that will be defined in the client side okay and it will take um an action like a parameter that's great so let's move to the interface and define different method signature here and i think we have done with the service here so let's move to the app.xaml.cs and add the chat service and the ioc Great. Now let's create a new um, page content um, view called chat room page. And let's define in the view model, let's overread the initialized method. So here we need to call the iChat service. 
the constructor here so we need to add the right using here and define new field that's done here great and we need only when user navigate to this page to call chat service dot connect which means that the current user is connected to the chat room now let's move to the main page xaml um to the xaml page and we need to define some properties here like a level and entry and the button to navigate uh, to the chat room so the entry it will be it will represent the name of the user or the id and it will be a unique now let's define some styles here um, in the app.xaml page and it will be i have already prepared the code here so we have a style for the button frame and the other one for the button style let's define primary color and white color and on the other side we need to call only uh, a style static resource with the key uh, of the style so it's the best practices that define all your styles in this um, app uh, page great let's see the result and i think we need to make more changes like change the navigation bar and uh, color and here we need to add some margin and delete the label i think and replace it by the placeholder in the entry so we have a placeholder here it's more stylish like ios um, style let's see. that's great Let's change the title here. Let's put login or join room as you like. And here we have some style and color to change um, the top uh, color. So that's great. Now let's move to the Android project style.xml and change the color primary dark in order to change the notification bar color. Great. So let's move to the main page view model and define a navigation, navigate to chat page um, command and inside we'll um, call the navigation service to the chat room page and we need to pass uh, like a parameter, navigation parameter, the user name uh, ID. Great. So let's define a bindable property called username in which we uh, make the binding in the XAML with um, the entry uh, for a user name. That's great. And here let's copy it and put it in the navigation parameters. We have done here for the main page. So let's move to the chat room page view model and on the initialize method we need to get this username mm, the, ne the other side and the other side and let's bind it to username property and the second property it will be for the message so let's rename it to message that's great and now let's move to the xaml code and and the chat room page will define a list view that will represent the the history of discussion between the clients different clients here so we need to bind the item source of this list view to a messages list that will be defined in the view model and here we need to define specially the um, item source uh, data template and it will be what will represent the username the message or it will represent a user um, image and 
the message. Uh, no, we need to represent the, this message by data model. So let's create a new uh, message model that will contain three proper main property like username, the message, and if the current user or the current client is the owner of this message. Great. And the last part in this image is to create an entry and a button to send um, the message to other clients or to other subscribed um, users. So, in the chat room uh, page view model, let's define the send message command. It will be new delegate send message, it's a private method, in which we call the chat service dot send message that we have already defined it in the chat message. That's great. So let's bind the entry text to the message property. That's great. And now we need to update when users send the message. We need to update the message list history of discussion. So that's why we can use temp list in which we add the new element and reassign the message bindable property list. Great. So I think the same code it will be used to receive also and update the message list. That's why we need to create a private method called add message in which we centralize this code and only call this message and send message and get message method that will be created. Great. Now, the last method, it will be get message from other users or other clients. And it takes the username and the message in which we call the add message. And when we receive the message, we are not the owner. When we send the message, we um, we are the owner of this message. And the, the last part here, we need to call chat service dot receive message and we pass the get message um, action like a parameter here. I think we have done here. So let's run and see the result. So you can run two emulator or you can run an emulator and you put the other one on um, your uh, physical device. So let's send hello. It's worked correctly, very nice. So here we can see the signal uh, real time communication. It's very interesting. So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.